Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, Norma Jean here, and uh, we are going to go through some more bins to see what I've packed away and forgotten about and bring them to the light of day to uh, sell. And if you're new to my channel, thank you very, very much for subscribing. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm learning as I go, and uh, I'm not a... I'm not what you call a natural at doing this video thing, but I am going to learn. I still enjoy it. I still enjoy the people, the community, and uh, and thrifting and reselling. So I so I do enjoy it, and thank you very much. So this will be my part four of digging through my bins, and uh, and I guess we will get started. Let me grab a bin. a big one so let's see if I can tilt you down just a little bit let's see I don't know let me try that again see more of the view of what I have all right this looks to be some of my pottery things that I have uh, stored away I don't know if it's all pottery or not so I have this beautiful piece of pottery, and um, it is signed. There, you can see that. I do not know anything about this signature. Um, and it's a very nice looking dark piece of, of pottery, and I don't know if it's black like that, if it's, uh, what do they call it, raku pottery? Anyways, if you know, you can leave a comment, please, if you know anything about that. Move that. And, oh, I found some springy uh, candles. I could uh, decorate my house with these if I don't sell them. But they are just a battery-operated kind. And um, I have a little, little one with the birds and the big one. Very pretty. And I have this planter. I think I've shown this before, if I'm not mistaken. It says USA on there. And I think this is Shawnee. This is Shawnee. Uh, when I bought it from a gentleman, um, where was I? South Carolina, I think. I think he told me it was a piece of Shawnee. Okay. All right, this is not pottery. This is uh, metal. I don't know what kind of metal. But look at the little squirrel. And it does have a marking on it. It's a quadruple. And it has some markings on it. It has a WR and it says New York. And it has a number 57 and then some other symbols. And I do not know if this is going to pick, be picked up. Now, I think this was shown before in a, either in a live sale from a long time ago or a haul video from a long time ago. It is a bank, but it does not have the stopper. But I think you could easily uh, find one for that from one of the craft stores. But, uh, so I don't know. I... I want to say this could be Mexico because I know they do storytelling in their paintings or, you know, they, they're they in the f field gathering their crops. See the baskets? I'm not quite sure. But uh, it looks to be nicely done. And if you like cats and color, lots of color, that's very pretty. Now, I have this beautiful little green vase, and I'm trying to remember if this was given to me from my sister-in-law. I think it is. It's pottery from California, and my sister-in-law is from California, and she gave me a couple of pieces of pottery from her aunt's house that she cleaned out because she knew I resell items like this. But I like it so well. Like I said, I like the greens and the blue, so this might be a little vase I may keep. 
uh, I may keep it at least till I get to my kitchen and decorate my kitchen with some some items that I have been saving and if I find that I don't need it or want it or I'm using something else then maybe I'll sell sell it uh, but for now I'm keeping that one because that was given to me from my sister-in-law and it came from her aunt um, so we'll see it's all my my husband's side of the family oh now this I will sell this I could at least get a hundred dollars for I've seen them sell on eBay uh, this is a Robert Maxwell piece of pottery and look at that George the Antique Nomad had sold one of these I can't remember if it was the exact type or if it had the longer snout but I think he sold it for a hundred dollars and I remember looking this up uh, I saw one that sold for a hundred dollars and the reason I already knew about these is th of this brand is because of Laura Codwell from Left Coast Rivals I think and uh, I love her style the Miss Century Modern style I really find myself drawn to that um, and so I, I'm learning quite a bit from her in that style. And um, she does beautiful work in her videos. And I would love to be able to do the same someday. But yes, I'm very excited for this. So this will be an eBay piece, I'm quite sure. Yep. I'll keep it wrapped up nicely. I don't want it to break. Oh, I remember this. I, my the goodwill one of my favorite goodwills to go to is about 40 minutes from me it's on my way to see my daughter Heather and sometimes I'll go visit her see her and the grandkids and then on my way out I'll just go by the goodwill and a lot of times I'll just uh, swing by there just to see if something cool is on the shelf you know like this because I'm not really in the market to buy a lot of little things because I'm look at me I've got all this stuff packed up I don't need to add to it but I will go shopping and browsing and looking to see if I can find like a good piece well this is that good piece I went in there one day just quickly browsing just to see and sure enough this is this is a, a Mexican vase it is signed and I have a chance to put this on eBay to make a good profit on this vase here so this will probably be another eBay piece but only for three dollars and um, and it looks to be in very good condition so I'm very excited about that uh, one time I went to the same Goodwill that I just referred to and I was going around there just just to see like I said I don't dig for a lot of little things unless it's flatware or something like that or jewelry or brooches but anyways you get my point and they had a green Catherine Home enamel ice bucket for three dollars, you guys. Well, and I learned this brand also from Laura from Left Coast Rivals. I think I, I hope I have that channel name right, but forgive me if I don't. So I picked that up. I was so excited about it. And then I also found a piece of Tupperware. It was a caddy that had the three caddies for your, you know, mustard ketchup, relish, your onions, whatever you things uh, with the, the lids. I think that had the lids with them. And that was for $5. So when I went to check out to buy my, my Tupperware and my ice bucket, I just casually said, I said, I love these two pieces. I said, but this is so much bigger than the Tupperware and it's less money. I said, I said, I wonder why. And the lady said, oh, because Tupperware is Tupperware. So they had no clue about the Catherine Holm ice bucket. Well, I sold that. This was like two years ago, y'all. Two years ago. I sold it on Macari for, I spent $3 and I sold it for $125. And I might have could have gotten more for it if I held out, but it was... You know I'm fairly new at selling I was very excited for the offer for 125 offer and I just and I sold it like the, the very same day so it was very exciting for me well anyway so I have this mug and I got it because it says Heartstone USA I like things made in USA I don't remember if I've looked this up already um, 
to see if it's actually worth picking up or not, but it seems to have initials right here. Um, a JH. It looks like initials JH. I do not know if that really means anything or not. But it, other than it being dirty, it looks to be in really good shape. And it's nice and heavy little mug. So if someone likes to uh, decorate their home in more of a country style or rustic style, uh, that would fit in nicely. Oh, I have this very pretty pink candle holder. And look, see? that. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. See? That would be very pretty together. And the, of course, the big one. I have the big one too. Very nice. Oh, this looks very nice. And and I don't know if this is considered the crisp, crystallized. I'm not sure. I'm not good with. But uh, it's very, very, uh, very nice. And I, so the price is still on it. It was $3. And it, you could tell that it is pottery from the ribbing on the inside. Of course, that's not going to do you any good there. And there's the bottom. I didn't hold that still long enough. But it has the, you know, where it's been on the potter's wheel. Okay, this is pretty. Look at the handles on that with the uh, dragon. Uh, I guess it's a dragon. And it has birds on the, the neck of it. And I'm sure they all have some kind of meaning. I do not know what it is. Now this, I think, is metal. This is metal. I don't know what kind of metal. But the coloring of it is very pretty. If you can see the coloring of it. And this is the bottom. It does say... Well, it says P-A-T and then dash or dot P. It looks like it used to have a sticker, but the sticker is gone. But it does have some Asian writing on it. Another piece I have to do research on, but look how pretty this face is. It's so glary out here. I'm in my garage. Let me do it this way. But yeah, look how pretty it is. Beautiful colors. There's nothing on this side, but it is on the sides, and this just is the background thing. And it is marked made in West Germany. So there is the marking. Do I have it where you can read it? I can't tell from here. But, uh, but so. There's the size, and it's not very wide. It's just, I love it. Okay, this piece I remember. I remember this is just months old. Uh, it might be almost to a year old, but I don't think not yet. I was in Tennessee visiting my daughter, and we go thrifting together when she's not working. And I got this at her big Goodwill in Madison, Tennessee. I think it's Madison, Tennessee. It's just right outside of Nashville. And uh, this is a vase. It's a vase, but it's a like a double-sided vase. Inside. It's very dusty. And it's I think that is the bamboo tree. Because I did take a picture of this just to see if it was worth getting for the price. And, and it's Roseville. Roseville, USA, <clears throat> and I think the price is still there, six dollars, and it's a bit, it's a little heavy, but uh, look how neat that is. I like the tree, and it's just like a double-sided vase inside. Oh, now this is over a year old, you guys. <laughs> I went to Arizona, not this last trip, not when I went in, um, what was it, May, whenever I went. When did I go? Three months ago? Well, this was the time before that when I went. And me and Jerry from Vintage and Vino, we went estate selling. And this lady had these uh, uh, pigs. And I, I think they're pottery. I, I have a hard time 
telling, but I want to say they're pottery. So, but this is the big one. There's like something in it, probably just a piece of what they uh, cut off from, I don't know, however they made it. And then here is the little one. So see, it's a set. And this one, oh, oh yeah, they're banks. They're like uh, banks, but they're the kind that you would have to smash. So there's this one. And then here's the little one. This one looks like he's grinning. He's happy. He's a happy little pig. He's got his tail. So I need to do some research on these little things. And I can't tell if they're pottery or metal. I want to say pottery because the way, you know, the way it looks like it's made. They just sound different to me. But yeah, so here's the set. I have another vase. And I'm hoping this might be a Potosi type vase. And uh, it does say Italy. It looks very mid-century. And... Um, and it, it's all carved in the pottery there. It does have a hairline. It, I'm trying to see if it goes all the way through. Let me find it on this side. Okay. There is like a, a crack here that seems to stop. I I can see it around here, but further down, I don't really see it. So this part of the crack does come over a little bit. I could tell that it does come over a wee bit right here, and then it sort of disappears. It seems to disappear right about there, unless it's part of those lines. See the lines in this? It's sort of really hard to... I'd have to take more time to just take more time to look and see if that's right. I, d I don't want it to go all the way through the vase. I'm hoping not. I think it stops a little bit up here. But isn't that neat and pretty? And down here is all good. I mean, it, far, as far as I could tell. So you could still use it, and it's very dirty. You could see someone use it as a planter. It has dirt in it. Oh, here's the other piece of green vase that my sister-in-law gave me. This looks more like, like a, maybe like a urn type vase with the handles like that. And this one is also California pottery, just a different name. So see, she gave me this little piece and she gave me this. Then that came from her aunt's place. She's still working on her aunt's place to, uh, to get it, get the house cleaned out. And it's this is just not very big at all. It's a nice little size. And it looks and it's in like very good condition. Alright, so that's all on that big bin. We got that one empty. And now look, I have this has been just floating around here. I I keep moving it, but it's just a little thing that I have here from an estate sale for probably a year and a half ago. It's been quite a while and I've had these little things. So it has a like a little card um calendar which is 1953 calendar in here and it has oh, on this side it says god say god says now is the day of salvation it's always a good day and then here's a little card with with an envelope it's very yellowy very yellowy but it says happy birthday and it's signed here right there it's signed see what it says on the inside lots of luck and all of it good for if anyone ought to be happy it should uh you oh you should so there's the inside sorry i didn't read that well there's the inside and and it's there's has the stamp on it 
a stamp fell out of it. Let me see what this stamp says. Oh, here is a stamp. It's like a five cent stamp. So I got lots of little little kitty treasures in here. We'll start off with the yo-yo. So there's that. And and now I know what these are called. I was watching. Um, I had watched. Oh my gosh. The name left me. Anyways, he called his little thing a penny doll. Penny penny doll or penny toy. So I have some of the some of these little men like this. Um so I have a few of these. And here's one on a horse. And this little leg has been repaired. But there he is. Oh my goodness, you guys. His I can't think of his name. It's driving me crazy, but he's he's paired up with Misty all the time. And he I was watching his very first video a long time ago when he first did it. It's driving me crazy. I know his name. I know his name. I promise you, I know his name. <laughs> he is so nice, so funny. Oh, I can't think of the name. Cult of Vintage is the channel. So I have several of those. Okay, now look good. I have this little Halloween uh, pumpkin man. And on the back, it says Germany. The back says Germany. It feels like wood for the most part. And let's see. Oh, and then look at this old, old uh, baby carriage. It's very yellowy. But look at that. I'm assuming this went with a uh, dollhouse. And then, so I had that little piece, and then I had this little piece, which is a baby in a swing. And I would need to take time to untangle the string, because the baby doesn't, there's the baby in the swing. But see, it, it ends up upside down. Poor little baby. Poor little baby. But, but there's a picture of the baby. And these are not marked. I have no clue how old they are very dirty and then here is a tin just a tin shell of a car looks like some kind of a wagon or bus but there's that and then uh, it looks like some random pieces of things that's been broken and some play money have some play money in here and this looks like a toy for uh, candles and I have, here is a, it feels like maybe an old time eraser. It makes me think of a, a of an eraser. Uh, here's another one. I don't know if it actually is or not. I'm just letting you know, you know, those block rubbery erasers, but it feels like that, but harder. It's not rubbery though. It's chalky. This is made in Japan. So there's a lion made in Japan, and then here is a cat that's missing its tail. It's broken, and it's also made in Japan. Okay, I will stop there and uh, say thank you all for watching, and let me know if you are uh, uh, interested in that. That word is like a tongue twister for me. I always pause to try to say that right. Let me know if you are interested in in any pieces. <laughs> Does that sound better? Anyways, now you you did hear me say some of these pieces I'll probably save for, for eBay because I hope to, uh, well, like for this. This I should be able to get $100 for. And so that'll be a good profit for me. So a couple of these, a couple of these things, it's probably going to go on eBay for sure. These other things, I'm not quite sure. I'll do some, try to figure out what I have here, do some research, and uh, and see if I've got something also good for rebay, uh, eBay. Look, I was trying to say eBay and resale at the same time, so I said rebay. So there we go. Secret language. And I think that's it. Uh, I hope you all a uh, very happy week ahead 
and I will see you again real soon. Bye!